what on earth could makeup and muscle be? You have administrators that are men and that are women, and decidedly our view on what certain words mean are very different. And one of the things that we found in, in working with people and in the programs that we did was that the word no means something absolutely completely different to a man than to a woman. When you say no to someone as a woman, it means you have considered every single possible alternative, all of the outcomes, you've done your research, and there is no way that your mind is going to be changed because to get to know, you've done a completely thorough analysis, right? It's not easy to say no. Is it easy for you to say no to somebody? No, it's not. We don't go there fast. We don't go there casually. We don't go there quickly. And so no means no. How many times have you heard a woman say to ch a child, a man, what part of no do you not understand? <laughs> now think, have you ever heard a man say that? So no to the men means maybe. Means maybe, means I'm not sure, means I'll consider it. Oh no, when I say no, I mean, tell me more. I mean, you haven't convinced me yet, so the answer is no, because you haven't convinced me yet. You haven't given me a compelling argument. And if you look at those two perspectives, that's really very telling. A lot of times, if we bring an idea, and what we're finding in corporations, you bring an idea to your boss in your organization, and, and he says, no, I don't think that'll work. You go away, you shot down your idea, that's it, it's over, oh well, that's done. I'm a woman, no means no, no means no. But knowing this means, all right, let me take a look at this again. Let me see what his perspective is. Let me see if I can find new data to support it. And then, let me ask him again. Most women, you say no to them, they don't ask again. So in understanding and changing policies and changing procedures within your organizations, how you communicate and how you receive this communication, understanding that perspective becomes really powerful. It's like we intuitively know some of that, but we don't really think about it. And when you say it out loud and you think about it, now when you go into the next conversation and the answer is no, you're going to go, hmm, <laughs> does that really mean? <laughs> what do you really still need to learn to get me to yes? 